Hello everyone and welcome to this short video on how to use Google Forms. To create a Google Form, you have to first go to your drive. On the upper left corner of your drive, you will find a button, the new button. You press on that button and you go to Google Forms and Blank Form as shown on the slide. Once you've clicked on that button, this is the screen that you're going to get. There are multiple things that, and settings that we will be able to discuss later. However, let's start with the title bar. The title bar um, allows you to give a name to your form and also right underneath that to add a description in order to explain what uh, this form is about and what subjects, for example, will be covered in the form. Once you have decided uh, on a title and a description for your questionnaire, you are going to go on to actually build uh, the Google form or the questionnaire that you're trying to um, create. The first button on the right is the plus button that will allow you to create a new question um, in your Google form. This button will allow you to import questions from another Google form in case you need to do so. This button will allow you to add a title and a description to the set of questions that will come next. You will see this in the next slide. If there is a graph or a picture that you want to include in your question, this is the button that you have to push in order to do that. Same here, if you need to add a video this time, you can push on this button to add it to your question. That way, um, the people who will be taking your questionnaire will be able to view the video before answering the question. If you want to add multiple sections to your questionnaire, this is the button that you have to click on. We'll see in the next slide what it looks like. This is what you get when you create a new section. You'll have multiple sections with their own title and with their own description, and you can add as many sections as you want throughout your questionnaire. If you click here, you will be able to delete the question that you are currently working on if you don't like it or you don't want it. If you need two questions with the same layout and with the same information, this is the button that you'll have to push. It's the copy paste button and it will create exactly the same question as a double. This button will allow you to have access to the theme of your title if you ever want to change the colors or the layout. There are many types of questions that a Google form allows you to create and we're going to see those right now. As you can see, the first type of question that you have is the multiple choice question. This is the default format of the questions that come with Google Form. Uh, and if you want to change that format, you will click on this button, which will show you a um, drop list with all the types of questions that you can choose from. The first two types of answers are the short answer and the paragraph answers. This will allow you to ask your user to enter their answers themselves. And it's going to look approximately like this, uh, where you can add your question and the user will have the uh, text box in which they can add their own answer. You can also have check boxes as a uh, choice of answer in which your user will be able to check the boxes that fit the answer. This will approximately look like this, and you can add options in order for your user to choose from. If you want your users to be able to choose from a list of options, you can use a drop down uh, format. It will look approximately like this. You can add the different options um, that they will have to add to choose from in the drop down list. This button allows you to create a question with a linear scale. If you want to ask um, your users to Give an answer on a scale from one to seven, for example, uh, this is the type of question that you can create here. As you can see, you get to set your scale from one to five here, but it could be from any number to any other number, and you can label the both ends of the scale uh, the way you want, if you want to. You can also have a multiple choice grid through this button that will create a question with a grid of answers, like so that your user can choose from. You add rows, you add columns, and you can add uh, choices in all of the cells that they get to choose from. The tick box grid is approximately the same thing. It will allow you to create a uh, grid in which there are all the options that your user can choose from. And it's going to look approximately like this. And you will be able to add in the columns and in the rows everything that you want or need. If you want to have a date option for your user, this is the button that you have to click on. It will allow them to enter a date as the answer to the question. 
same here if you want to have a time as the uh, format of your question then they will be able to add a time um, as the answer there are further settings for each type of questions that you can access through this button it will allow you to customize your questions as much as you want with different options now we'll be moving on to the general settings uh, of the google form itself this button will allow you to access the settings of the Google form. As you can see here, uh, you have general settings, presentation settings, and quiz settings. In the general settings, for example, you can limit the number of responses, collect the email addresses, or um, other settings. In the presentation settings, you can change the way uh, the presentation is. You can have a progress bar, for example, or shuffle the order questions every time someone opens the Google form. Finally, you can turn your Google form into a quiz. This way you can have uh, other options, quiz options they will have access to and that will allow you to um, customize it as much as you want. Once you're done creating your Google form, you can click on this button in order to have a preview. The preview, for example, is this one that we have created here. You can see different types of uh, questions with different types of answers sending and sharing your questionnaires with other users in order to share your google form you can click on this button this will take you to this screen in which you can include all the email addresses of the people that you want to share your google form with or a second option is to click on this button which will take you to this screen where you can get the link of your google form so that you can send it directly to the people you intend to share it with if you want other people to have access to this Google form and be able to change the questions or the layout, um, this is the button that you have to click on. It will take you to this screen where you can add uh, editors to the Google form. However, you have to make sure that you add them through their Gmail account for them to have access to it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If you want to copy your questionnaire and keep a copy of it in your drive, this is what you have to do. You go to the settings button on the upper right corner of the Google form and you select make a copy. This will take you to this screen that will allow you to choose the folder in your drive in which you want to have the copy of the form. Once you are done with your questionnaire and once people have answered it, you can click on this button in order to see the answers. Um, obviously here we don't have any answers because we do not have any Google form, but you will be able to see um, all the answers to all the questions that were submitted. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful to you.